Okay. Thanks for joining us for our health lesson. Everyone say hello. hello. We'll begin with our meditation. That's right. Two fingers to find our heart center. Left hand in our lap and close your eyes. Great job. for boom 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 in your heart center move your right hand into your lap keep your eyes closed keep thinking about your heart center Let's end our meditation with three breaths together. One, two, and our last one, three. Slowly start to wiggle your toes. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers. Slowly open your eyes. And let's begin our health lesson. In this health lesson, we're going to talk about safety with animals. So we'll be talking about how we can be safe with animals that are in our homes, our pets, and how we can be safe with the wild animals that don't live in our homes that sometimes we might see, but that we need to be very, very careful with. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about the difference between our pets and our wild animals, okay friends? So we're gonna split our board into two parts. We've got our p -p pets and our w -w wild animals, okay? So, hmm, let's think about pets versus wild animals. Can you raise your hand and tell me a kind of pet? What's kind of pet? A cat. Yeah. A dog. Yeah. Yeah. A fish. Shark. Is a shark a pet? No, no a shark's yeah. like a wild animal. Oh. A pig. Tell me yeah. another one. Yeah. We'll come back to you if you don't know. Yeah. Oh. A sheep. Good. Yeah. Is a tiger a pet? Yeah. Do you have a tiger in your house? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A cow. Tell me. Butterfly. Is a butterfly something that lives in your house? No. No, he's a wild one. Tell me one down. Rabbit. A rabbit could live in our home. Sure. Tell me one. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> monkey. Does a monkey live in our home? No, he's she more of a wild animal. She loves a cow. A cow and a pig. And Tell a, me. Chicken. a chicken could be a pet. Dog. A dog could be a pet. Very nice. A pig could be a pet. What about some wild animals? 
Tell me a wild animal. A tiger. Tell me one. A shark. Tell me. An octopus. An elephant. A monkey. A alligator. A shark. A monkey. Tell me. A lion. Elephant. A tiger. A whale. A whale. A turtle could be wild. Tell me. A rabbit could be wild and our pet. Good. Tell me. A tiger is wild. A deer is wild. A dolphin is wild. Which one? A giraffe is wild. An octopus is wild. A dolphin. A which one? A horse could be wild or a pet. Good. A turtle could be wild or a pet. Which a lion. A lizard. A lizard. Good job, friends. That is great. So we talked about all different kinds of animals that could be our pets. Or a goat could be a pet or wild. And all different animals that could be wild. Now some animals can be wild or pets. Sometimes they're pets. Sometimes they're wild animals. So let's first think about some of the things that our pets need. Some of the pets that live in our home, they need help from us. Yep, like a dog or a cat. <laughs> they need some things for us. Those animals that live in our home, they need some things for us, from us. They need us to help them. Give them, mm -hmm, give them some food to eat. So, mm -hmm. All animals breathe. Do we have to help our pets breathe? No. 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 All animals just breathe on their own, just like we do. But we do have to give our pets food. What's another thing we have to give to our pets? Food. Love. Food. Love. Good. They need food. Love. They need food. They need love. What about something to drink? Water. Good. They need Food and water. They need love from us. Love. What about a place like a little home? Play. They need to play with us. Good. That's a good thing. They, they need a place to sleep. That's right. They need to play. And yeah, they need mm -hmm, They need food from us and they need a little home to sleep in. Yeah, they need a little home to sleep in. <laughs> yeah, they need a home to sleep in. So we give our pets food to eat. We give them water to drink. What else do we give them? Love. What else do we do with them? Play. We play with our pets so they, that they get exercise and they need a little home to sleep in. What about wild animals? Are they the same as pets? No. No, they're a little bit different from pets. So wild animals, they don't need as many things from us. Do we have to give wild animals food and water? No. No, they look around and they find their own food and water. Do we have to give wild animals love? No. no. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. We can be kind to them and respect, to them, respect them, but usually wild animals don't like us to come up and pet them. Usually they kind of are afraid of people sometimes. So wild animals like to look for their own food and water. Like a tiger. We don't need to feed tigers, do we? Or sharks. They look for their own. Or an octopus. They look for their own food and water. And fish. And fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like fish. They like dolphins. to be left alone. Dolphins. Yeah, dolphins. They like to be left alone. They don't like when people really come up to them. Sometimes they get afraid. Sometimes they get angry if people come up to them. Not home. Yeah, they don't need a home. They like to sleep outside. And they like to be left alone. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when she was little, she was scared. So some animals that are wild, they like to be left alone. Left, left alone. alone. Can we say that? Left, left alone. alone. And just like our left hand, it's spelled the same, it sounds the same. But when we say left alone, that means that we let the animal stay far away. We don't try to touch the animal. We don't try to scare the animal. We just let them be alone by themselves. We le leave them alone. They like to be left alone. So what about a place to, ha to sleep in? Do they need a home, wild animals? Do tigers sleep in a home? Do sharks sleep in a home? No, those animals don't need a home to sleep in, okay? Yeah, like a whale, they don't need a home. Yeah, that would be a very big home. <laughs> and the water, yeah. Okay, friends, so we've got some animal cards. And we're going to think about if these animals are a wild animal, if they're a pet, or if they go right in the middle. Because sometimes animals, there are kinds of animals that could be wild or pets, like the dogs. Some dogs are our pets. They stay with us in our home. And other dogs just kind of run around on the streets. They don't have a home. They find their own food and water. They don't really like when we try to touch them. So some animals can be right here in the middle. They could be pets or wild animals, okay? So we're going to talk more about the differences between wild animals and pets. But for now, we're going to make room for our animal flashcards so that we can think about different kinds of animals are usually pets or wild animals, okay? So our first animal is a squirrel. Squirrel. What do you think? Have you ever seen a squirrel as a pet or is that more of a wild animal? Wild. Wild animal. Show me a squirrel. Good job, friends. Okay, what do you think? Wild or a pet? For a squirrel. Yeah, a squirrel's more of a wild animal. What's this animal? A monkey. Show me some monkeys. <laughs> Show me some monkeys. What do you think? Is a monkey a pet or a wild animal? Pet. Wild animal. Wild animal. I've never seen a pet monkey. Those are more of a wild animal. They like to be left alone. They like to find their own food. What about this? A rabbit. Show me some little bunnies. <laughs> Show me some little bunnies. <laughs> little bunny rabbits. Very nice. What do you think, friends? Is a rabbit or a bunny a wild animal or a pet? A bunny. What? Wild and pet. Wild and pet? Yeah. Together? Yeah. Yeah, it could be both. It could be right in the middle. Sometimes animals, rabbits are pets, and other times they're wild. So they could be right in the middle. We put them right, in, right on the line, right in the middle. Hello. Hello. What's this guy? Spider. Spider. Show me spiders. <laughs> a lot of our friends are Spider-Man, that's cool. Spider-Man. Okay. What do you think about spiders? Are they pets or wild animals? Pets. Pets or wild? Wild. They're wild. Yeah, I don't know anybody that has any pet spiders. <laughs> Good job. What's this? Dog. Dog. What do dogs sound like? <laughs> Very good, friends. So what do you think about dogs? Are they pets or wild animals? Both. They could be what? Both. Both. Yeah, a dog could be both. Sometimes dogs are our pets and they live in our house. Other times there's do there are dogs that are wild. They don't need our help and they like to be left alone. What's this? Snake, show me snakes. What do they sound like? 
<laughs> Very nice job, friend. What do you think about snakes? Are they pets or wild animals? <laughs> what do you think about snakes? Are they pets or wild animals? Yeah, they're usually pretty wild. They're usually pretty wild. <laughs> What's this? Birds. Show me some birds. Show me some birds. Birds. What do birds sound like? <laughs> Very nice, friends. Do you think birds are more of a pet or a wild animal? What do you think? They could be two? What do you think? Okay. Yeah, sometimes people keep birds as pets. Other times birds are just wild and they live outside. They fly around freely. They don't sleep in a home and they don't need our help. What's this? A mouse. Show me a mouse. Show me a mouse. <laughs> what do you think about mouse, friends? Is a mouse a pet or a wild animal or both? What do you think? You think it could be both? Yeah, sometimes some people keep pets that are mice or a little mouse. And sometimes they're wild. They don't need our help, so we'll put that in the middle. What's this? What do cats sound like? <laughs> Good job, friends. What do you think? Cat? Pet? Wild animal? Or both? Think both? Okay, I think you're right because sometimes they are homes with us and we need to feed them and take care of them and love them. And other times they live as wild cats and they don't like to be touched. They want to be left alone. Okay. All right, friends, you're going to get some animals. Keep your animal a secret. Keep it a secret. Keep it a secret. Keep it a secret. I don't have a sheet, my friend, but you'll like that one. This one. Keep your animal a secret. Okay. Keep your animal a secret. Keep your animal a secret. <laughs> then we're gonna have our friends come up and try to act out that animal for us. What do you think this animal is? A lizard. Do you think that's a pet or a wild animal? What do you think? It's the wild. same as that. Pet or wild? Wild. Yeah, he's kind of a wild guy. They like to live on their own. Wow, we don't have too many pets over here. We've got a lot in the middle, and we've got a lot of wild animals. Get a piece of tape. Okay, give it before you put your animal up. Can you give us a clue? We're going to try to guess what your animal is. So give us a clue. Hold on. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, deer. For the next one. What do you think? Is a deer a wild animal or a pet? It's wild. Very good. Very nice. Okay, Pang Pong, bring your animal up. Don't show anyone. Keep it a secret. Keep it a secret. And you're going to try to give us a clue. You're going to give us a clue about what your animal is. So you're going to make a sound. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Friends, we're not showing what our animal is. You're keeping it a secret. Now you're going to make the sound of that animal. Or you're going to make the way that animal acts so that our friends can guess. You're not going to show your friends. So make the sound of that animal or act like that animal. What does that animal sound like? What does he sound like? What does he sound like? What do you think that animal is, friends? Tiger. A tiger or a leopard. Okay, what? A leopard with all his spots. Do you think that's wild or a pet? 
What do you think? Wild? Yeah. Okay, very nice. Okay, Nadia, bring your animal. Remember, friends, keep your animal secret. Don't show anyone. Don't put it in your mouth. Don't put it in your mouth. Keep it secret. Nadia is going to act out our animal. Friends, you're going to watch. You're going to listen and see if you can guess what animal Nadia has. Okay, give us a clue. Give us a clue. Act, make the sound of that animal, or you can walk like that animal. Lion. Lion. Keep going, keep going. Lion. Do they get it? Yeah. What do you have? Bear. A bear. Good job, guys. Is that a wild animal or a pet? A pet. A bear? <laughs> yeah, he's more of a wild animal. I don't know any bears that are pets. I don't know any bears that are pets. Okay, great job, friends. Very nice. Let's have Pro come on up. Bring your animal. Okay, you'll go next. So you're going to keep your animal secret. You're going to keep your animal secret. Give your friends a clue. Okie doke. Okay, you'll go next. Oop. Everyone's going to go. go on. Okay, Pro, give us a clue about your animal. Make the sound, or you can walk like that animal. Okay, what do you think? We've got a cat, wild animal, or a pet, or both. Looks like she's putting it in both. All right, good job, good job. Bring your animal. Remember, friends, when you're in the audience, you want to listen. You want to listen so you can hear the clues. Okay. Don't show it. Don't show it. Keep it secret. Keep it secret. So make the sound of that animal, or you can walk like that animal. Friends, shh. So you can get ready for Nate's clue. What do you think? What do you think he is? Did they get it? A rabbit. All right. They got a rabbit. What do you think? Wild animal or a pet? Where does he go? Think yours wild? All right, that's fine. That's cool. Sometimes they're wild, sometimes they're pets. That rabbit looks pretty wild, jumping around. Pot, bring it up. Okay, everybody's gonna get their turn. Don't worry, friends. So you're gonna keep it secret. Keep it secret, don't show anyone. Don't show anyone. Give them a clue. <laughs> Give them a clue. Okay, make the sound of that animal or walk like that animal. Friends, get ready for your clue. Are they right? Yeah. Okay, what do you think? Is a dog a pet or a wild animal? What do you think? Wild animal, okay, put them up. Put them where you think it should go, that's cool. Sometimes they're wild, sometimes they're pets. Very nice, Pack Boom. You'll go after Pack Boom. Okay, keep your animal secret. If you're in the audience, so you can hear your friends. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. Give your friends a clue. Give your friends a clue. Is that a wild animal or a pet? <laughs> wild animal. Very wild. Okay, two. Come on up. Keep your animal secret. There you go. Keep it secret. Give your friends a clue. Give your friends a clue. Then we'll have down and pen pen. Come on up. Okay. Bring it up. Keep it secret. Give your friends a clue. Give your friends a clue. No! <laughs> what is your animal? Tiger. Tiger. Is he a wild tiger or a pet tiger? Tiger. 
Looks like he's putting him on the wild side. Okay, come on up. Very nice. Get some tape. Keep your animal secret. And give your friends a clue. Okay, get ready to listen, friends. Get ready to watch. <laughs> give him a clue. Are they right? Okay. Where does that dog go? Yeah, there's a lot of dogs. Okay, Pen Pen, you're next. <laughs> Our dog, where is he going? Next to the other dog in the middle. Okay. Dogs are sometimes wild animals. Dogs are sometimes pets. Sometimes they're right in the middle. We don't know. Okay, our last one. Keep it a secret. Act out your animal for us. What do you think? Are they right? Okay, is a fish a wild animal or a pet? What do you think? Have you ever seen a pet that's a fish? Have you ever seen a pet fish? Yeah. Some friends have. Have you ever seen a wild fish? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Seen a wild fish? Yeah. So maybe it could be both right here in the middle because sometimes we have fish that are pets. Sometimes we have wild animals that are pets. So maybe let's put him right in the middle. Let's put him right in the middle. You can put him right in the middle here. Yep, right there in the middle. Okay, so friends, do we have any animals that are only pets? No, a lot of animals can be pets and wild animals, or they just like to be wild animals. So we've got all different kinds of animals. Some are wild. Some are pets or wild, just kind of depends on that animal. So we're gonna do a little stretch break. Let's have everybody stand up. And put your arms up high. Stretch out all your fingers. Good job, put your arms in a T. And ta ta, touch your toes. Come up halfway, swing your arms like a monkey. You can be a monkey. Mm -hmm. Be a monkey. <laughs> All right, friends, stand up nice and tall. Nice and tall, stand up. You have three seconds to be a lion. No more lions. No more lions. You have three seconds to be a monkey. Two, one, zero, no more monkeys. You have three seconds to be a cat. Two, one, zero, no more cats. No more cats. No more cats. You have three seconds to be a snake. Two, one, zero. No more snakes. You have three seconds to be a deer. Two, one, zero. No more deer. My friends, stay at your desk. Stay at your desk. You have three seconds to be a fish. Two, one, zero. No more fish. Okay, you have three seconds to be a bird. Two, one, zero. No more birds. You have three seconds to be a bunny. Rabbit. Two, one, zero. Okay, no more bunny rabbits. Good job, friends. Let's do three big claps. Three big jumps like a big bunny. Three spins around. We did monkeys. We did monkeys. Three big steps like a big elephant. Okay, three little steps like a mouse. Three little claps like a fish. 
Three little jumps like a spider. Good job. What are we missing? Spins. Spins, okay, let's do three little spins like a little bird. Very nice, friends. Everybody take a seat. Okay, we're going to look at our PowerPoint to see how we can be safe with animals. Like in our last lessons for health, we talked about safety in our homes. And today we're gonna to talk about safety with animals, whether they're wild animals or whether they are our pets. So what do you think this snake is? Do you think it's a pet or a wild animal? Wild. It's probably a wild animal. What about this dog? A pet. He's got a leash on. He's hanging out with this guy. Yeah, he's probably a pet. He's probably a pet. He probably lives with this man. This man probably gives him food and water and is playing with him. So this time, this dog is probably a pet. Other times, dogs might be wild, but this guy looks like he's a pet. What animals do you see here, friends? A tiger. Elephant, a bear, an alligator. Do you think these are wild animals or pets? Yeah, they're probably wild animals. And wild animals are pretty cool. But when we see a wild animal, that is a very, very special and lucky thing. But it could also be a dangerous thing. So we don't want to try to scare that wild animal. We don't want to try to touch that wild animal. We don't want to run up to that wild animal. We want to just look at that animal, think, wow, I'm so lucky. And then we want to leave that animal alone. We want to leave him alone. We don't want to touch him. We don't want to bother them. We don't want to try to scare them or chase after them. They want to be left alone. What about this bear? Is he wild or a pet, do you think? Yeah, he's a wild bear. He probably lives by himself. He probably looks around to find his own food and water. Do you think this bear lives in a house? No. What do you think? Does this wild bear live in a house? No. No, probably not. Probably not. What is it? A snake. What kind of snake? What kind? Wild snake. He's a wild snake. I bet that snake likes to be left alone. I bet that snake likes to look for his own food and find his own water. Do you think this snake likes to be petted? No. Probably not. No. Probably not. He probably likes to be left alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's this guy? Is he a, a pet squirrel or a wild squirrel, do you think? Wild mm -hmm. squirrel. He's a wild squirrel. He's a wild squirrel. What is he on? Tree. He's on a tree, yeah. He's a wild squirrel. Good job, friends. So those animals that are wild, we don't want to touch them. We don't want to scare them. We don't want to run after them. We want to go very, very slow, slow. Yeah, if we see a wild animal, we want to stop. And we want to move away from that animal very slowly, like we're in slow motion. We want to move very, very slowly away from that animal because we don't want to scare him and we don't want to make him angry. We want to, we want to, slow like a turtle. We want to go slow like a turtle away from that wild animal. Mm -hmm. We want to slow down. We want to go very, very slowly. Yeah. So this guy's, what is he seeing here? Tiger. He's seeing a tiger. Should he run away from that tiger? No. No, because that tiger might think he's what? Eat him. That tiger might think he's food and try to eat him. 
So this man, what should he do? It's a little Go slowly away from that tiger. He should walk slowly away from that tiger. Should he walk right in front of that tiger? No. No, probably not. He should go all the way around that tiger. Yeah. He should go around that tiger so that he's not walking close to that tiger and that he's walking slowly away from that tiger so that tiger doesn't think he's something to eat. Not eat. Oh, yeah, he doesn't want to get eaten by that tiger. So we want to go around. We want to walk slowly around that animal. We want to get away from that animal, but we don't want to go in front of that animal. We don't want to go behind that animal. We want to go far away and far around from that animal. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Another thing, we've got a snake here. What's going to happen to that snake? Yeah, he's going to step on that snake. Is that a good idea? No. Yeah, I bet if he steps on that snake. Yeah, you're right. If he steps on that snake, that's going to hurt that snake. That snake is going to get really angry, and he's going to bite that person probably. So we do not want to step on wild animals. We don't want to step on them. Don't step on. Okay. That's a great idea. We can call for help if something is a big scary animal. We can get someone else to help it, to help us who's an adult. Maybe they can move that animal away or they can warn other people so that other people don't walk around near that animal because some of those animals can really hurt us. They're pretty cool to see, but if we get too close, we might scare that animal we might make that animal angry, and that animal could really hurt us. So we want to follow those rules. We want to go slowly. We want to go far around an animal. And we don't want to do what? Step. Step on that animal. We don't want to step on that animal because that will definitely make them angry, okay? So we're going to go slowly. That's number one. We're going to go far around that animal, number two. And number three is very important. We are not going to touch or step on that animal. We don't want to touch them, and we don't want to step on them, because that will really hurt that animal. And they will probably get mad and scared, and they might hurt us. So what about these kinds of animals? What do you see here? What kinds of animals do you see? Cat, dog. Cat, dog. A little mouse and fish, yeah. What do you think? Are these fish? Mm-hmm. He's like a little hamster. Are these fish wild fish or are they pet fish? Pet How do we know? This circle and wider. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're in a little bowl, a little home that someone made. Yeah, and little rocks. So someone made this home for those fish. So that's how we know they're pets. These are pets. They're animals that live in our homes and the animals that need our love. We give these animals food. What about pets? Hmm. Do pets sometimes want to be left alone? Oh, no. Are there times when your cats or your dogs don't want to play with you? Play. Maybe. They like to play with us, but sometimes... Get you, yeah. Yeah, maybe sometimes a dog doesn't want to play, and he shows you that by showing his teeth or biting. Yeah, and then you have to go to the doctor and get a shot if he's a dog you don't know. So if those animals show you their teeth, do you think that means those animals want to play with you? What do you think? If you see an animal's teeth, or they're barking, or they're meowing at you, do you think those animals want to play? No. Probably not. 
So it's probably a good clue that they do not want to play. So what? Yeah, what's what is he doing? What's he doing? Yeah, he's eating. He's eating. Eating is one time when animals usually do not want to play with us. Mm -hmm. They don't want to play with us. When they're eating, they want to be left alone. They're hungry. They want to eat their food. They don't want to play. They want to eat. So when animals are eating, even our pets, we should leave them alone. We should let them eat their food. And then when they're finished, then it's time to play. Also, when they're doing what? No. What's he doing? No. Yeah, he's drinking. That's another time when our pets want to be left alone. They probably don't want to be petted. They probably don't want to play. They're thirsty. They want to drink their water. And then they're ready to play. What's this cat doing? Sleeping. That's another time that animals probably want to be left alone. If you're sleeping and you're nice and relaxed and someone comes up and shouts at you, hey, let's play, let's play, let's play. Do you want to play with them usually? Probably not. You're probably going to be confused. You might get angry. You might get scared. So when our animals are sleeping, that's another time we want to leave them alone. Yeah, they might run away from you. They might try to scratch you or bite you because they're scared and they don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they might scratch you. So when our animals are eating or drinking or sleeping, we want to leave them alone. It's not time to play. But other times when we're ready to play with our animals, yeah. What do you think he's doing with this cat? Does he look like he's being nice or mean to this cat? Nice. Yeah, he's being nice. So cute. so cute. And we want to show our animals love. And we want to be kind. We want to be kind. Can you say be kind? Be kind. Be kind. Be kind. Be kind. And when you're kind, that means you're nice. So he's being nice to this cat. He's being kind to this cat. And it looks like the cat is also being kind to the boy. It looks like the cat is showing that boy some love. And they're being kind to each other. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe there's little cats inside that stomach. We don't know. We don't know. Another thing, after we play with our pets, there's another thing we need to do. Is every animal clean, do you think? Yes. Do you think every animal is clean? No. No, some animals are dirty. So if we pet an animal that looks kind of dirty, what should we do with our hands after? Dirty. And They're dirty and we might have germs on them. So what should we do? We should wash our hands. Yeah, after we play with our animals, we should wash our hands because sometimes those animals have dirt or germs on them. So we need to wash our hands after we play with those animals. So those are some ways that we can be safe with our animals. We don't want to bother our pets and play with our pets when they're eating, when they're drinking, or when they're sleeping. We can play with them after. But we don't want to bother them when we're doing those things. And if we see a wild animal, we want to go slowly. We want to go around that animal. And then we want to make sure that we don't touch or step on that animal. And Lackow gave us a good, good idea. We can also call someone and tell them about that animal to help us or to help move that animal or warn other people about that animal. Okay, thanks for joining us for our health lesson. We're gonna go around the class one more time and we're gonna think about a wild animal and an animal that could be a pet. So we're gonna think about all different kinds of wild animals. It does not have to be something on our board that we talked about today. Let's go this way. Two, tell me a wild animal. Wild animal. A snake. Tell me a wild animal. Monkey. Monkey. Sheep. A sheep? No. A deer. A deer. Goat. 
A goat. Tell me a wild animal. Tiger. Tiger. Alligator. Alligator. Tell us a wild animal. A rabbit can be a wild animal. A dog can be wild. A bear. An elephant can be a wild animal. Very nice. Friends, raise your hand if you know an animal that can be a pet. Tell me. A cat. Dog. A dog. Fish. A fish. A sheep. A sheep could a be a, a pig. A cow. A cow could be a pet. Got another one? A bird could be a pet. Sheep. A sheep. Chicken. A chicken. Tell us one more. Chicken. A pig. Okay. And a turtle. Very nice job, friends. So we've got pets. We've got wild animals. Sometimes those animals could be either a pet or a wild animal. There's times when it's good to show our animals love. There's other times when they want to be left alone, like when they're drinking, or eating, or sleeping. And when we see a wild animal, we need to be very, very careful. Walk slowly around that animal, and make sure we don't touch or step on that animal. So thanks for joining us on our health lesson. Everyone say goodbye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.